This video shows endoscopic shelf acetabuloplasty in combination with labrum repairs, cam osteochondroplasty, and capsule application for the treatment of development hip dysplasias. The technical note. Here is the disclosure. A 17-year-old male long-distance runner presented with left hip pain for the past six months. He had a limited range of motion as there are positive impingement signs and low load test. A CE angle 13 degrees and VCA angle 18 degrees suggesting anterior lateral uncoverage of the socket. Scope viewing anterolateral portal, uh, first we did interarticular evaluation and we detected anterior superior lateral tears. We expose the rim with the rim recessions and we refresh the rim between the labrum and the capsule without rim trimmings. And we perform the labrum refixation without suture anchors. We normally place the suture anchors from anterior to posterior and the suture can be looped around labrums or passed through the in a piercing fashion with a small ulcer pierce and a knot tying must be placed at the capsular side to avoid knot impingement of the surgeries. We use a strong suture for the labor modifications. Following the central compartment procedures, we release the traction and evaluate the peripheral compartment, and we perform the femoral osteoplasty using motorized round bar. Capsular application is done uh, through the mid anterior portal on the hip placed at 30, 14 degrees of the flexion. To perform the endoscopic shelf acetabular techniques, we place the arthroscope into the extra capsular space under fluoroscopy imaging. We identify the reflected head of the rectus femoris along with the anterior acetabular rims and we divided it. We extend the mid anterior portal to 3 cm length and then introduced two 2.4 mm guide wires through the, this portal. After evaluating the location and the angle of the guide pins under fluoroscopy, we introduced the osteotome along with the guide wires into the rim to make the slot for the shelf graft. We harvested the graft from the ipsilateral iliac crest and make it wedge-shaped. We made two drill holes for the skewer used to introduce the parallel drill guide wires. We inserted the shell autograft into the slot using the guide wires and fixed it into the position by press fitting. This slide shows the preoperative, postoperative, and 12 months after surgery is x-rayed. 